Hi guys, welcome to my channel and Happy New Year. I know I'm super late, like two weeks late, but better late than ever. Um, I've been trying to organize my life and stuff and now here I am. Um, today's video, as you saw in the, in the caption, is going to be an eyebrow video. I'm going to show you guys how I've been doing my eyebrows, so let's just get into it. Okay, so because, you know, of quarantine and everything, I have not gotten my brows done in such a long time and I recently started doing the um soap brows if you don't like soap brows and you don't want to learn how to do soap brows and you're not a fan of them then this video is not for you because today i'm going to show you guys how i do my soap brows so um i've been using this one for a while this is a pear soap and i get it from the dollar tree um so it's a dollar which is pretty good too because i don't spend much on eyebrow products so for this video, if you're trying to, um, you know, follow along with me or anything, I use a soap bra, a soap bra. I use a soap. Um, I really think that almost any soap can work, but I tend to go for like a clear soap, kind of like a clearish soap. Um, you're going to need a setting spray or just like a spray. I use the Fix Plus from MAC. And then you're just going to need like if you want to fill them in because not everyone likes to fill them in um a brow product so i have a lot of options that i like to use one is the nyx lift and snatch um brow tint pen i recently discovered this one and i think it's really really good so this one i definitely recommend and i think it's like six dollars another option that i love is the elf ultra precise pencil i love this one as well and i think it's like two three dollars um so this is another option Another option that I use is the Morphe Brow Pencil, which I believe is $5. And my last option is the e.l.f. Um, this one's called the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Um, all of these I really love. All of them I tend to just switch off and use every now and then. But for today's video, we're actually going to use the NYX Lift and Snatch. Um, what is it? The Lift lift and snatch nyx brow tint pen this one is in the shade espresso another thing that you're gonna need is just like a spoolie um i tend to use any like some come with like the brow ones i just use a spoolie though so let's see if i could zoom in so you guys can see just the brow I actually haven't done my brows, like gotten them plucked or anything in a long time. I tend to do sometimes, I tend to do them at home, but I really haven't done them. So we're just going to hope that they come out okay because I have not done them even here at home. Let's just clip my hair back real quick. Okay. So the first step is I just use my setting spray and I spray the, the soap. And I kind of let it like move around a bit. And then with my spoolie, I'm just going, if you guys can see, I'm just going to like brush on and grab some of the soap. I don't like using it as soon as it's like too wet. I kind of tend to brush around for a bit until it dries a bit. And then with that, you just start brushing your brows up. If it's too wet, it's kind of hard for them to stay up, so I just keep going until they dry. So then once they're brushed up, I already did it, but you just like shape them how you want. So pretty much the way that I do it is with my spoolie, I'll just kind of drag it across and then down just to shape them however I want. So then this kind of is like your preference, so you can shape them however you want. But pretty much I'll do the same thing with this one, I'll go like around and shape them like this and i know they're like really messy like i said i haven't gotten my brows done but i kind of like it like this and then a huge huge step after this is i like to get a con in and then i wet it and pretty much i'm gonna take off all of the excess soap that is on my face because once you put your foundation or you clean it up with your concealer it's gonna look kind of weird if you leave the soap so I just like to take it off, even from the bottom as well. I don't, I try not to touch my hairs though because it's going to kind of take them out of place. And then I'll do the same thing with this one. So I just take off that excess soap. And I know that sometimes people have the problem where they have soap 
left and it makes their foundation or their concealer look kind of weird in this area and it's because of this and yeah so yeah pretty much i think all of the soap is gone hopefully but we're gonna know when to put the foundation so then after i clean them up or whatever um i'm gonna use the nyx lift and snatch and if you guys can see so if you guys can see, it's just like a little pen, like a little marker. And I'm just going to create hair-like strokes just wherever I feel like I need to fill this in. This is like completely up to you and your brows as well. But I'm just going to do like little strokes wherever I feel like I need more, you know, hair. I don't do too much because I kind of like them how they are already, but I'll just fill them in a bit more. Just like little strokes like that. In the other in the other brow, I'm actually gonna use a pencil just so you guys can see like the difference in how I use them. Um, as you guys saw, I don't really do much. I kind of like them how they are already. I know you can't see it because I have super zoomed in. But I want you guys to just see the brows pretty much. But I really don't fill in a lot. Um, so I'm going to be using the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. And then this one is in the shade Java. So with this one... I like to just shape down here and then I'll kind of like brush up a bit just to like fill them in a bit if you guys can see that and then I kind of did the same thing I do with the pen so I just create like some little strokes and then for me honestly I don't really care if my brows look a little messy because I think that that's at least for me, the look that I'm trying to make with the soap brows for them to look, you know, a little out of place, a little messy. Um, and then also, you know, to make them look a more fuller. But I don't like to clean my brows with concealer. I like to clean my brows with foundation. But today we're actually using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting, which is a foundation and a concealer. So we're going to be using this one to clean it up. Um, I'm in the shade, well this is my first time using it, so the shade that they was given to me was, um, it has like a lot of names on here. I think it's the 46 Golden Neutral. It has another name on here as well. It's also like 08, but um, pretty much it's like a Golden Neutral. So I'm going to use this um, brush. It's like a really flat brush. I actually got it from, um, I think it's called like Shop Miss A. So I got it from them and it's in E115. So with the foundation, I'm just going to grab some. And I need a mirror. I can't see. Sorry, guys. And I'm just going to clean up however I want. So this one's also up to you. You can clean up however your brows, however you choose. But I kind of just tend to follow kind of like a straight-ish straight, straight -ish line because I kind of curve it here. And then I know that I have hair here, but I like to clean it here because when I do get my brows done, that's gone. So I'm just going to clean this up right here. I know my brows are really messy right now, but I'm not going to get my brows done probably until all of this is gone because I don't want to risk it for something. You know? I could try to do them here at home. I don't know, I'm kind of still scared. But yeah, I kind of just follow like, if you guys can see, I hope you guys can see. Oh my god, I kind of messed up. Also just going to clean the top right here. So with the same brush, um, I tend to use it kind of like this way, if that makes sense. So I'll do it like this. I guess I'll kind of curve it a bit. Like that. And then I'll curve the brush to go this way. Yeah, so pretty much this is how I do them. Um, if I look kind of crazy right now, let me just 
finished my whole makeup and I'll show you guys how the brows look after you do your whole, you know, your whole routine, your whole makeup. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is just a super quick look that I actually created using, give me a sec, using the Maddie palette um, with Morphe. Um, it's a really pretty palette. If you guys don't own this one, I honestly recommend it. It's like a really pretty color scheme. But anyways, I created this look using this palette. And pretty much I just wanted to show you guys how the brows look when you finish your whole makeup and everything. Um, personally, I... I like how they look. I mean, we all have different preferences, different, um, you know, things that we like. People like their brows differently. This is what I like the best. Um, you guys can see. I know that they're not really clean right now. I hope to get them done soon. But as of right now, I think I'll just keep trying to do them at home. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a bit. So, yeah, I just wanted to create something really, really fast, really, really simple. Um, so, you guys can see how the brows look when you do your shadow, um, when you do your makeup. But yeah, um, yeah, these are the tips and tricks that I use to create my soap brows. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If you guys have any suggestions as well for more brow products, leave them down below as well. Or let me know how you guys do your brows. Um, besides that, I just want to say again, Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And yeah, let me know if you guys want more of these makeup type videos so I can create more for you guys. But other than that, I think that's it. See you guys in my next video. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, guys.